Welcome to the American Dream. I'm your host, Amanda Howard. And today I am thrilled to take you on an extraordinary journey through Van Gogh, the immersive experience here in Huntsville. This traveling exhibit uniquely blends traditional art with futuristic technology. Throughout the show, I will be joined by my dear friend and culinary artist, Paula Namsha. We will explore a unique fusion of art and culinary creativity. We will take that inspiration to Paula's Kitchen to create some culinary masterpieces. Paula, isn't this fascinating? The exhibit brings Van Gogh's masterpieces to life using cutting edge 360 degree digital projections and VR technology. You feel like you're stepping right into his paintings. You really do. Do you know what the story is behind Starry Night? Yes, Starry Night was painted during Van Gogh's stay during a psychiatric facility, capturing his mental struggles. My goodness, and what do you think the significance of the swirls is? Interestingly, these swirls resemble turbulent properties seen in molecular clouds that burst stars. NASA even compared an image from the Hubble telescope to Van Gogh's painting, highlighting this cosmic connection. That's incredible. I'm so inspired by the fact that Van Gogh took his pain and was able to transform it through all of his beautiful art. And what I'd like us to do is let's go to my kitchen and I can show you some of the things that I've done based on the inspiration of Van Gogh. I would love that. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. As we make our way to Paula's kitchen, I must give a proper introduction to Paula Namshev. Her journey in the culinary world began early, influenced by her family's legacy, from owning restaurants to her mother's extraordinary baking skills. Paula, we're here in your kitchen, where the art of cooking comes alive. Hi, Amanda, I'm so glad that you came here to join me today. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Tell us more about what we're about to make. Okay, so we're gonna create a focaccia bread art. But what I wanted to show the viewers today was a couple of the cuts that you need to use with some of these vegetables and, a, and just a couple of little suggestions that may help them out. First, what we need to do to actually slice a pepper into, you can see these little slices that we're gonna use for sunflower today. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight down with my knife, okay, right there. You're gonna take this pepper and you're gonna go just horizontal and actually parallel to the cutting board, you can see that. And then so now that we have this flat surface, so we take it and we just go straight down and you can split it in half, and then you have your two pieces. And let's say we're designing a sunflower. One of the best things I've found to duplicate the inside is chopped black olives. They look fantastic. Right. So what we're looking for in our vegetables, whatever it is we're using, is we're looking for movement. Movement creates just a visibility and a truth to the actual design that you may not have otherwise. And so there's that. And then the other thing that is fun to do is a splay of a flower. And you can see that. So I did this one earlier. We will take a pepper, and in this sense, we want a pepper that is rounded here, okay? So it's very, very easy process. And how far I cut it is dependent on how big I want the flower to be is you're gonna tuck your fingers under and then you're gonna slice down into that pepper almost to the end, see that? But not all the way to the end because this is gonna serve as the center of the pepper. So uh, I'm just excited that you guys will try this at home. You can look at my website and on my YouTube and see some information about tips and tricks that, that you need to use to do that and attend my classes too. That would be great. Let's sit down and talk a little bit more about that because I, I have to. some more questions okay. on that. Sounds okay, great. great. All right, All right. see you then. All right. Paula. 
Paula, this looks beautiful. This is gorgeous. I love the gold on, on your bread. I think it did turn out very well and I'm glad that you're pleased. Oh, I am very pleased. Paula, your work is truly inspiring and delicious. Thank you for joining us on this artistic and culinary journey from the Van Gogh exhibit to Paula's Vibrant Kitchen. Stay tuned for more episodes of the American Dream TV show where we explore the finest in real estate and the artistic lifestyle across the nation. I'm Amanda Howard, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.